Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and below is my web homepage where you can access details about me, can leave your friendly feedback, or really can drop anything that you really wish to see me on the email. So I hope you are quite enjoying this series as I am quite enjoying these, making these lessons, new uh, stuff, new challenges and everything out there. So let us move ahead and see what there we have got in this challenge and let us check out. So here we are on our Kali Linux and you might be seeing right out there that there is a lesson 13.zip file absolutely for you. So and yes I mean absolutely by means yes absolutely for you because I'm not going to do much of the stuff here on this but there is a lot more stuff to do for you. So first of all let us start few services that is service Apache to start. And uh, let me start my SQL as well. Okay, so all the things are running. Now, as always, first of all, I will try to move this files, which is in the slash root desktop and lesson 13.zip to slash var www master. Once it is moved, I'll travel to that directory as always. And I hope many of you got bored from this step, but really I always do that. So here we have got our, where it is, again, I missed it. Yes, it is, lesson 13.zip file. So very simple step is to unzip the file, lesson 13.zip. And in that we have got our lesson, let me check out. Did we have got our lesson 13? Yes, we have got our lesson 13. Next thing you want to do is launch your Firefox, of course, in the background process, because in this lesson, you are going to run a couple of commands uh, on your command prompt as well. So let me just restore this. Okay, so master 12 is not for us in this lesson, master 13 is. Okay, so you can see a very good dancer in this uh, lesson, so you can lesson, you can say, uh, just to make you entertain and really these exercises are quite entertaining as well. So what we are going to do, first of all, this since this is a post base injection, so we are not going to touch our URL in this case. So we are going to do all of our things in the username and password field. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, let me... Just go here and put some values in the username. So in the username, I would like to give a single quote and hit a submit. It says a uh, down arrow. That means yes, you haven't done, done well. Uh, double quotes. It's not working as well. Let's try to hit a backslash. It's not working again. So let me try something like this. Uh, double quotes or one equals to one equals to one and let's comment out rest of the things okay it hasn't worked so let us try again with that let me try double quotes okay so if it is not working what can be the other thing that might be working let's try double quotes in the bracket Okay, so this time we have got an uphand that says, hey, this is actually great. And you can consider this as uphand as you might have logged in into the web page. Because really to create a login page and a user ID could be really uh, troublesome for me uh, as for creating a simple exercise. I just want to make things simple. So this uphand means consider that you have done right. You have got into the website and drop hand as a, you haven't done well. So we found out that double quotes and bracket is actually working out and we can log in into the website. But logging in into the website might be a good thing, but really what we are interested in the pen testing, if we could get some hands on the database name, version, or some username tables and likewise things. So what we are going to do here in this case, and uh, let me just disclose uh, the action out here. So what you can do, this is actually, uh, you can say blind time-based injection. Here is the thing that you can actually refer. So what in the time-based injection we actually do? We take sleep as a function and here we put, let's say 15 seconds, but things are not going to work here with the or. Let me show you that. 
okay so it's working that's a good thing as well for us but many times things doesn't work like this because it's a, a simple fluctuation of and and or so make sure you find out and you have the answer why this is not actually working with the and and it's working with the or or might be an opposite thing it's really really simple if you will try to build up a pseudo query for the back end you will really find it out so it's waiting again and again for 15 seconds and that means it's giving us a quite a simple answer that hey i am vulnerable to sql injection that is time based injection so rest of the work is absolutely for you try it out yourself try to enumerate the database try to get out the tables name and whatever ahead you could get uh, please go ahead with yourself so let me just stop this right now because i know it's a time based injection and also try it with the end this is very simple as well so we see that end is not working or is out working so make sure that you try it out yourself with lots of things and uh, all all those steps and if you are not feeling comfortable that hey uh, i don't know what this time based injection is all about so make sure you go uh, before lectures with, where i have discussed in details about the time based injection try it out yourself and if any problem you face it out just drop me an email i would be really really happy to give you a, a really quick answer on that so that's all for this video grab a cup of coffee and enjoy all these series and i hope you will drop me a feedback. Thank you so much for watching.